some cowboy cop goes Ted Nugent on him, comes flying through this door, he's gonna have to kick it a little bit harder next time. I changed the lock on my front door so you can't see me anymore. Hey there, how's it going today? We're over here in the woods of Arkansas. We, uh, working on a little condominium project. As you can see, we had a video game player. Uh, I think they call themselves gamers these days. And uh, he got into a little trouble and disappeared. The police came to open the property up for the owner. And there were two ways to open this door. In all likelihood, well, three if you count calling a locksmith to have it picked open. So if the door could have been picked open, it just had a doorknob. It probably could have been credit carded open. Or the third option was you could kick the door open. Now, as you can see, the uh, police over here, evidently the most impressive option in their mind was to come flying through it, kind of like Ted Nugent with a dive bomb and can you take me high enough just come kicking right through the door. If Ted Nugent came flying through this door in a dive bomb with his zebra stripe Paul Reed Smith guitar kicking this door down, screaming, can you take me high enough? It appears that the answer would be yes. Now that's fine and dandy and it's a lot of fun, but it does do a significant amount of damage in a lot of cases to your door jam. So I don't hold it against them. If I had the opportunity, uh, I'd probably do it, but people expect more of a locksmith. So we've been called upon to repair this jam, which there are two options for that. You can replace the whole door casing and jam. We've got this uh, jam enforcer, which is pretty good for repairs. It's about four feet long door strike reinforces goes into the stud so these can also be installed as reinforcement on a on a wood door casing or jam and it really gives it the strength of a steel door jam okay we got this repair complete here and as you can see um, we've installed this jam enforcer four foot long piece of steel it's attached nine times with three inch screws over the course of four feet and the door, the latch now latches right into that jam enforcer. So that's gonna thoroughly reinforce this door. It's great reinforcement if you're in a high crime area or you're worried about a kick-in type of attack. It's almost like having a steel frame here into the wood studs behind the wall here. And we've, uh, we went ahead and just replaced this piece of trim around the door because it, the other one was split up in two or three places. It was just gonna look better to replace the whole thing. We glued together and, and reattached all the wood in the jam behind this jam enforcer, but it's not really doing anything anymore because all of the stress and pressure is going to be on the steel plate, this jam enforcer bar that we put upon there. So all that means is some cowboy cop goes Ted Nugent on him comes flying through this door, he's gonna have to kick it a little bit harder next time. Video games lead to drug abuse. Drug abuse leads to disappearance. This, this kid has disappeared, he's been gone for three weeks, nobody knows where he is. Disappearance leads to the cops kicking in your door. The cops kicking in your door leads to expensive door frame repairs. Don't pay expensive door repairs. Avoid video games. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Yesterday.